The year was 1935 EC. Two powers controlled the continent. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, otherwise known as the Empire. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depend... I am absolutely muted. You're right, Billy Ray Joe. I was just talking to myself for three minutes. Yeah. Um, oops. Good morning, though. Good morning. It's good to see you here this fine morning. Um, it's day two of my one-year stream challenge, um, and, and we're here. And besides the uh, microphone... You know, um, we started on time and stuff, so that's the thing. Whew. All right. Um, I accidentally started playing the intro. Uh, what you missed was a zoomed out version of a map that looked vaguely European, like roughly Europe shaped. And the west half is democratic and the east half is whatever the east half is, uh, as you would expect from vaguely European settings. And, uh, these guys like their Ragnite, and I guess we're gonna fight over it, is my suspicion. Alright, enjoy your work, Lurk, Red Jade. ...ended on a precious mineral of Ragnite for their survival, and its growing scarcity led to the inevitable war. Hostilities began in the East when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded. Is he vague Europe? The Empire, with its vast military superiority, struck hard, gaining ground in early victories and putting the Federation on the defensive. Emboldened by the Those weapons are awesome. Momentum, the Empire set their sights beyond the borders of the Federation. In neighboring Gallia, a peaceful principality along the sea, they found their next victim. Gallia had long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between the two superpowers. But the rich stores of Ragnite under the Gallian soil proved too tempting for the Empire. It amassed troops along the eastern border and invaded with all the force of an avalanche. My guess is we're Gallia. Prologue. Gallia to arms. 
Great. Great. Um, XCOM starts in about three hours, not for Taco. Oh, this isn't like a mouse game. My mouse is not mousing. Okay. Enter? Spacebar? Spacebar! Apparently I should get a controller for this. Glory to daytime, Von Schlieffen. 1935. Outside the Gallian border town of Brule. Oh, we're Holland. Residents are leaving the town before the invasion. Headed inland towards the capital. been down this road in years. It really hasn't changed very much. Whoa. Already? Hey there, guys. You're beautiful. Starting early this year. You're heading upstream, huh? How's the water? <laughs> Just holding perfectly still. seen you around before. What's your name? Um, uh, my name's Welkin, and you are... The one with the gun. We're with the Brutown Watch. I'm Alicia. Alicia Melchiot. So, I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. Imperial spies are in the area. <laughs> this book is nothing, really. Uh, I was just sketching the fish, and, uh, you know... Uh... <laughs> yes. Oh, I know. And you know there's a war on, don't you? All right then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. Uh, uh, thanks, fish. Okay. Uh, apparently we blame the fish when we get in trouble. I... So my commentary so far is I love the art style, but if her uniform is supposed to look like imposing and threatening as a military uniform is supposed to look, it utterly fails because she's adorable. Adorable. Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or this could be some kind of secret code. And I intend to take my time finding out for sure. <sighs> Great. Welks? Is that you? Isara! Oh, your timing is perfect. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Wait. Don't you live at the old General's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes, I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's so frustrated she messed up. I apologize. 
But I was just doing my job, you know. I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. It's all right. You're Thanks. adorable. Everyone will forgive you. About it. I can see how I might have looked a little suspicious. Wilkes has a real passion for observing nature. Hi, Mephintus. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Guilty as charged. I get so Hi, Leonard Marks. Sometimes I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> Gunfire! Everyone, keep your heads down! Over there! Come on! Damn it! I love that they have like miners' helmets. Welkin, you can handle a gun, right? And that she yeah. just like. I mean, I made it through training anyway. Forgets that she's a town guard and sits down. Like, oh, they're coming. We should be able to take them out. This is my first time with Fintus. Yes. I've I've seen all of like 15 minutes of this game and it's all been cutscenes so far. About saving the game. F select save. Saving is a good idea before, during, and after combat. Because you could die and stuff. F. Save. Neat. Wait. Yeah. Great. It's two thirds cutscenes, great. Okay, here's the plan. We've got to eliminate the Imperial Scouts that are approaching Brule. We'll deploy from here and take out all three of them. Just cross the bridge and take them down as fast as you can. Our objective here is to eliminate all enemies. Let's take care of them one at a time. Nice and easy. Uh, okay. We win when we kill all the guys. We have 20 turns. Let's get started. Just stay calm and get it done. I expect to love it, Mephintus. I This game looks something like something right up my alley. I see three of them. Too many. Stay sharp. Listen a second. There's something I should explain. When combat starts, you see a map of the area in your unit's positions. This is referred to as command mode. Here you'll select the unit you'd like to move based on their position respective to the enemy, then press spacebar. Doing so uses up one of the command points displayed at the top of the screen. They reflect your ability as a commander. And represent the number of times you can give instructions, i.e. control to your units per each player phase. Hi, Dick Burger. Uh, VX got with some uh, iced coffee. It's early in the morning for me. In this battle, you have three CP, so you can issue instructions to your units up to three times. Let's try moving a unit now. Okay. Welkin. About AP. Use CP to select a unit in command mode, and you'll be plunged into action mode. Here you can freely move the unit you selected around the field. As you move around in action mode, the action points gauge at the bottom of the screen will gradually deplete. This represents the unit's mobility. Once you reach zero, the unit will be unable to move any further. Keep an eye on the units. Remaining AP while they're in motion is critical to keeping them safe. Now use WASD to move. You put WASD in the wrong order. Wasad is not how you pronounce that word.
to the sandbags. Press the E button to enter target mode. Move the crosshairs. Q and E. Enemies will not attack. Aim well. Shots will land somewhere within the circle. Center it on the entire target. Alright. Shots to the head or other weak points will result in greater damage. You can only attack from target mode up to once per action, so choose wisely before you open fire. If the target survives, they can fight back. Hi, Mage Crown. Hi, Valerie. Uh, E? So, we can hit anywhere within the circle. So is it better to just line up, like, the whole guy, or to try and get the headshot? Oh. Oh, there you go. Two kill seven, two kill two. Hopefully I'm a sniper. Got him. That's how they spell wazd in Japanese, they spell it was sad. Okay. A unit with zero remaining AP that has already performed an attack in target mode is unable to act further. Press escape. Then we can go pick another person. Yes. Good job, Wilkin. Be excited because you just killed someone. Um. All right. Alright, so she wanted us to go across the bridge. I feel like walking onto the bridge is pretty unsafe. It's Spacebar Boomer, that icon. We're going to use the sandbags for cover. Come on, town watchman. Aw, oh, you don't have a real name. You're not a real boy, and you're probably going to die. It's a good thing I didn't crouch. That's that feels like a smart thing. Crouch people who are not me. So I get shot. That's pretty happy about that. Uh okay. Oh, okay. So there's some bonus for finishing turns quickly. Sure. Defensive position. I guess we don't overwatch. I should be shooting that guy. Yes! Yeah, shoot him. Get him, me. I have plot armor. Mm -hmm. I do, like, literally have plot armor, because if I die, we fail the mission and we have to restart it. And that guy doesn't matter. When used well, even a limited pool of CP can take out a significant number of foes. CP can be used on the same unit multiple times. Oh. Okay. People get tired, they'll start each consecutive action with fewer AP than the last. Alright. Alright. 
Should we just send the town watchman? Hey! You don't matter. So... Good luck, bro. I wonder... I mean, how good am I at shooting? Yeah, no. That's... That's not a good plan. We need to get closer. There's not really any cover between here and there. And they're probably going to shoot at me while I run, I imagine. Sure are. <laughs> hey, doofus, use cover. So, use cover, don't die. Good. Ow, 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 ow. Can I use this tree for cover? How good are you, man? Oh, good enough! Good enough! Hey, Poner. Oh, you can't shoot again. Get behind the tree. Right, you can't shoot twice. But he can if I use some more CP. Or we could try to like run past this guy to cover. Which seems a little bit risky. You know what? This guy's a red shirt. Let's find out if we can run to cover. Without getting shot too much. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow. Yeah, okay. Is that guy just gonna keep shooting forever? That was the equivalent of an XCOM 10% shot. Good! Well, the game just taught me to do stupid things. Um, I wonder if he just stays there and just gets shot at repeatedly forever until he dies seems to be the thing. To go. But maybe this guy's distracted and Welkin can just shoot him in the face. Because he's watching what's-his-name over there. Hi! So distraction tactic seems pretty good. Two turns, rank B. Was I supposed to kill them all in one turn? I mean, rank B makes me sad on the tutorial mission. You should get an A. They were really far away at the end of the first turn, though. How could I have killed them all? Well, maybe we could have maybe we could have run like run run up kill the first guy and then keep running across the bridge and use all your command points on the same person and run around the entire map and kill everything could be a thing let's see if that works I don't want a new episode I want to go get an A on this episode what? I don't want to save it. I want to load my save and go get an A. Do I have to rewatch the cutscene? Encounter it, bruh. Hey, there's an encounter, bruh. Can you s oh, okay, you can't skip cutscenes. The rank system is how fast you complete, not how tactical you were. Okay. But I can't... 
I can't replay the encounter, bruh. Yeah, and that's that's save not load. Where's load? Maybe if I just go to the title screen, it'll let me load my game, and then I can get an A, because um, apparently A's are really important to me. There we go. There we go. Hi, off tanker. Okay, here's here's the plan. One person run across the bridge, kill everyone, get an A. Let's get started. Just stay calm and get it done. Morning, waffle. May the bloodline live forever. I see. That's three too many. Stay sharp. Okay, go kill all of them. Welcome. Listen a second. There's. No, don't. Okay. We saw this. Command points. Show how good you are at being a commander. Should we send Welkin or Alicia to go kill all of the things? Send Welkin. I have 20 more HP, that might matter. Here we go. Alicia's the better scout. Fair enough. I don't want to attack him yet. I want to attack him right in the back of his head. Yes. Welkin. Keep running, Welkin. You got two more guys to, to kill. It's you again. No, you're supposed to shoot him, not not climb over the cover. Silly. Yes. Murder. Okay, let's hide behind a tree. So that guy can't see you. And then we'll run over and kill him. Ready to go. I can't. Okay, there's no cover behind rocks. Oh, you're not gonna kill him. Take this. Oh, you did. Yes. It's because Welkin ran and killed all three of them. Rank H. I guess that's really an A. But it looks an awful lot like an H. Plot shot. It's fine. It's fine. This game is teaching me bad habits about plot shots. New episode. 
sure you did a good job walking. Miss Melkiot. There's no other sign of the enemy. Good. Those helmets. Now, go keep watch and stay alert. Yes, ma'am. Like the, uh, the weird, we like, cowl? Bodies, we'll bury them. So it's begun. I'll do whatever it takes to protect the people of this town. I'll do it. Even going to war, I'll do it. Seeds from the lion's paw. It blooms white, small, simple, and strong. I want to be able to remember, once the war is over, that it wasn't all just people killing people. That even in war, there was also new life. On the 15th day, of the third month of the year 1935, the Empire began its assault in earnest. A formal declaration of war was made upon Gallia. Though it was only a small front in a massive continental assault, what followed would prove that a tiny nation could best a military well, giant. Spoilers! Sp These events would tell a story of tragedy hidden in the mists of time. A story of courage and of trust, of persecution and hate, and of love blooming Aww. even through the flames of war. But spoilers, though. What follows is a record of this conflict and of those who fought, lived, and died. Have I ever played or looked at any of the Fire Emblem games? Yeah. Um, I, I haven't played them, but I've heard that I really would like them. And they are in my list somewhere after Valkyria Chronicles uh, to play in this morning time slot. Now that I have a little more time to play stuff that's not XCOM. Chapter 1. In Defense of Brule. They said persecution, Von Schlieffen. They didn't, I mean, they didn't say racism, but they did say persecution. That's how I feel. <sighs> Super windmill with Seeing wings. That old mill spinning again really makes it feel like home sweet home. Hmm. <laughs> I hear that. It really is one of the most beautiful things about this town. For your help. Goodbye and take care. Gotta learn the correct Brule salute. <laughs> Make sure I do that correctly when we're saluting in Brule. Thumb on eyebrow, fingers in the air. Got it. Got it. How's the packing coming along, East? Almost done. I only need to take the everyday basics. Well, the Empire's got to be close by. Let's hit the road by sundown. Martha, look! Wilkes is here! Is the cute anime girl chuckle part of the salute? Oh, I did it wrong. Oh! <laughs> Welcome back, Welkies! Cast Dragon. You're still calling me that? Martha, I'm 22 years old. And more important, 
You shouldn't be running around. Aren't you due any day now? Ah, oh, a light jog won't hurt the little spud. I should know. I've already had four of them. Four potatoes? Hello there. Um, it, is Welkin in? Oh, hello, Alicia. What brings you here? Hi, short bus. I just wanted to apologize. For before. Um, here. This is for you. Really? These are for me? Four loaves of bread? I work at the bakery. Well, I did until the war started anyway. It's where I live, too. <laughs> Nico, I had to break protocol and never salute correctly again? You didn't like my anime girl laugh and my thumb on eyebrow salute? But... Okay. I'll break protocol. That's preserved bread, so it's pretty hard. Heat it up before you eat it, alright? I baked it myself, so the flavor's guaranteed. Best you ever had. So she just gave me four loaves of stale bread. That's that's friendship. Look how proud of herself she is. Thanks. Uh, do you want to come in? Hi, Nagaf. You guys want the cute anime girl chuckle in XCOM salutes? Okay. Arrested and shot at? <laughs> You've had a busy day of it, haven't you, Well, Whose mom laughs when they get shot at? Like, <laughs> oh, you got shot at a little? <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. And what a lovely lady you are for all that adventuring. Good job, Welkies. What? <laughs> Wait, no, it's not like that. Alicia just saved my skin, that's all. He's right, we just met. I'm not his girlfriend, just as he- Oh, snap! Although I'm really hoping to be his friend. I hope she means girlfriend, and that we didn't just get friend-zoned in the first cutscene. Oh, well, I'm sure you will. Be good to my Welkies here, won't you? Okay, seriously, Martha, enough with the Welkies already. A lovely portrait. Is that General Gunther? Yep. It was taken before I was born. But that's Dad. That's Dad? You're a lucky guy. And who's that with him there? My father, Tamer. He was an engineer. The General's tank was his creation. Wait a minute, but I thought the general was your dad. My birth parents died when I was a baby. The general was kind enough to take me in as his own after that. Yeah, we're not related by blood, but she's definitely my little sister. Okay. Sorry. Could get awkward. Too personal? No, I don't mind at all. I was blessed with two wonderful fathers. Yeah, I guess you were, huh? Oh, is that really the time? I've got to get going. Does she have a clock in her fingernails? Like, what is she? Oh, look what time it. I. Okay. Why don't you see her off, Welks? I can take care of the rest of this on my own. All right, I will. I'll be right back. Man, I wish Martha would call me Welks and not Welky. I feel like such a little kid when she calls me that. See and in front of my girlfriend, I mean my travels. friend. Is it going to be like four to one cutscenes to combat? Because I would love to sit here and watch this movie with you. Becoming a ghost town been leaving for a while. Just about everyone is evacuated by now. You can't blame them. Tensions are rising with the Empire. We'll survive. The Town Watch will guard and protect the home front. 
Everyone will come back someday. They'll come back when it's safe again, right? Mm -hmm. Four to one might be generous. <laughs> All right. Are you gonna join the army like your father? Hmm. I don't think that's for me. What I'd really like to do is be a teacher. Huh? A teacher? Yeah. Animals and insects, flowers and plants, they've always been my passion. I've learned a lot from nature. You see, my dad, he protected this country as a general, but it's just that I, I want to give back in my own way, my own way. You know what I mean? I think I do. You're sure about it? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's deep in your own way. It's chivalry, Von Schlieffen. It's not that she needs to be protected. He's just being chivalrous, and he wants to get out of the friend zone. That's why he's escorting her home. What was that? That sound. Oh, we made such a big deal out of this windmill. Of course it's going to get destroyed. Let's make sure we know the bad guys are bad guys. Because they just kill some civilians in the back. Yes, Chekhov's windmill. Absolutely. You can't set up how great it is to see the windmill and then not kill the windmill. I don't believe it. The mill. Miss Melchior, the Imperials are attacking. There's a squad of them in town right now. Get all the town watch together, now! We've got to fend them off! They must be at Mill Plaza. I'll help! Thanks, Welkin. Now move out! Stay low! Yeah, Von Schlieffen, I think I have to wait until I'm done with EU4 before I can play Crusader Kings 2, because the games are... Similar but different, and I will get way too confused trying to do both at once. Um, so whenever Lolash and I are done with the U4, I might place Crusader Kings after that. Steampunk Stormtroopers. Yeah, Mephintus, that's it's pretty apt. It's pretty apt. No, oh, this episode's not a cutscene. Now I'm going to shoot people. I'll explain the mission. Thanks. Well, maybe after I finish Crusader Kings, then I'll play EU4 again with the save file. Um, but since we already started our EU4 game, I'm not going to... Like, I can't play them both at once. Hide behind sandbags for cover as you advance. Eliminate the enemy leader in the plaza. Enemies might be hiding behind the buildings. Hidden enemies won't show up in command mode view, so be careful. Okay. Can we do this one in one turn? Just run forward and shoot everything? Okay, let's begin. It's up to us to defend rule. I'm probably not going to get an A. Target is the Imperials in Mill Plaza. Focus on taking down their captain. Breaking the chain of command should at least buy some time for the townspeople to get away. All right, I got it. Let's all be careful out there. Got a second? Listen close and I'll explain. Speaking of stormtroopers, um, I've seen like a whole argument that every time the stormtroopers missed, they were under orders to miss. Like, they needed to let the Millennium Falcon go so that they could follow it to the base. And that sort of, like, that sort of thing, that they, 
they are actually very accurate troops, like they're described to be, and they were just under orders to not kill uh, Luke and Han and stuff. I don't have all the details in front of me, though. But I, I have heard that theory. Set amount of the damage a unit has sustained is healed each turn. If a unit has taken heavy damage, don't push them, stay back and heal up. Uh, in this battle, you have no way of helping a unit in critical condition. Don't let anyone get to zero. Okay. Crosshairs turn red. Get him. Yes, Llama Luck holds. Yes. I'll stop getting shot. Should I run up to the next cover? Maybe we run behind the building. Hostile sighted. Ow, stop getting shot. Get behind there we go. Good work, Welkin. Send Town Watchman around. Nope, can't get past the bushes. Just kidding, Town Watchman. That guy's crouching, right? He's gonna be harder to hit. No headshot possible. Reduce damage. Alright. Oh, can't get. Invisible zone wall. Great! On that guy's turn, he's going to come and then flank and kill Town Watchman. We need to do something about that. Um, which may be to make Town Watchman run and flank him. Which leaves Alicia way in the back. Alicia has grenades, I can blow his cover. Sure enough. How does one throw a grenade? Oh, yeah. Please hit. Please hit. Nice. Now I can't attack again, right? Okay, so... Stay there, I guess. Hopefully when he tries to run, we get to shoot him. Oh, 
You almost got him, Alicia. Okay, so I should have left more people. I forget that we get tons of free shots on their turn, so I should not have hidden behind the wall. Because if all of us were shooting, we might have killed that guy. I like that he like powers up his attack. Like you say hi -ya through your gun. It's effective. Um where do we go? Found him. Okay, Alicia's used her grenade. Does Town Watchman have a grenade? Can I see that in here? Guess whatever this is. What is it? What's a ragnade? Infinite ammo. But it's not giving me like a targeting. You can't see the other one. All right, well, shoot this guy. Good shots. VXCOM, I am playing, uh, I'm doing a one year stream challenge. Today is the second out of second day out of uh, 365. I'm gonna stream every day. Nibble. Oh, okay. Nibble freaked out because we're getting quality. They have so many command points! Ah. Oh, got him. Was that the guy? That was the guy. We win. like a tank. I think the CP boomer depends on the commander's skill level.
Oh, cool. Okay, so that was actually a seed that came off of that guy. Magecron, thanks. It's good intel. And now we're flanked. And there's a tank. Yeah. Shooting the tank with a rifle is certainly, certainly going to be effective. I love that it has cartoony ar 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 as it drives. That is my favorite thing. Hi, right, game. Teach me about tanks. Welcome, tank. You're welcome. Oh wait. That's not good. We're not equipped to take out a tank. I hate to say it, but we should probably pull out for now. Get off this road and into the alley to the east. It's too narrow for a tank to follow. And try to stay behind cover while moving. One blast from that turret and it's over. Welkin reaches the destination. How am I supposed to get past all these guys? Go Welkin. Run good. Don't get shot. Yes. Can you get past that no? Welkin's a good shot. Yes. That's where I'm going, right? Okay. Phew. Looks like we shook him. What are you doing from here? If they're rolling in the tanks, there's not much the town watch can do. We'll try to buy time so everyone can get away. I'll dig in my heels at the main gate and do what I can to stall them. Okay, I'll head back to my house and grab Isara and Martha, then come back. Be careful out there, Welkin. Um, Stalfo, I didn't know there were difficulty settings. I just clicked start game. Like, I looked at no options. So... Three turns, B rank. How could I do that faster? I guess we could run past the first two guys and just kill the captain? Seems like you would die, though. B rank. Chapter 2. Escape from Brule. Sara, Martha, please be okay. He's running so fast the wind is swirling. That's that's quick. Martha. What's her problem? Is she pregnant or just fat? 
Who cares? Not gonna make any difference when she's dead. Stop this now! See what she's wearing? Take a good look at that shawl. She's a darkson. And that explains it. I thought this place stunk. Now I know it does. So, we got ourselves a fat one and a stinky one. P.U. It's a regular pig farm in here. Uh-oh. She's an unapproved race. I will thank you to watch your tongue in this house. You have to leave now. That's a big gun for such a little girl. Drop it. Isara! Huh? Hold it right there! Die! Dark son pig! Isara! Are you okay? I'm okay thanks to you. But Martha, I think she's... Martha! This isn't good. She's gone into labor. <laughs> Moving her would be dangerous. Wise, I was thinking the same thing. Well, we can't just leave her here. What are we gonna do? What happened to his gun? There are a lot of Imperials out there, East. I mean, he did a great job with the fence post. But the he had a gun Martha. minutes ago. Welks, listen. The barn out back. What about it? Our fathers have left us something. Something that might get us out of this mess. What? Oh, Dad just has a tank in the garage. Dad's tank. <laughs> Whoa. I can't believe it's still here. And it's one of a kind. Here it is, the Edelweiss. Tamer built it especially for General Gunther. Yeah, and it worked great, too. So it's just been parked here in the barn? I wanted to make sure it would still operate, you know, in case of emergencies. I enrolled in a maintenance class given by the military. I wanted to be able to do what my father could do. Well, that's great. But that's only a class, Isara. It really didn't need much. Hardly any alterations at all. I just fitted it with a new turbine engine. It really improves on the power-to-weight ratio. The Edelweiss is field-worthy. Its firepower and mobility are more than a match for recent models. Well, assuming it does work... What's next? All right. Welks. You took the armored vehicle course, didn't you? You happen to know how to drive this, right? Back in high school. They teach how to drive tanks in high school? We'll bring Martha here. She'll be safe inside the tank, and we can move to a better location. Just leave the driving to me, okay? All you have to do is give the orders. Sara, we ready to roll? Engaging engine. I love that my 12-year-old half-sister. Alicia could still be out there dodging bullets, buying time for people to evacuate. Is going to drive Here's the tank. The plan. We're going to pick up Alicia and get out of town. All right, Edelweiss, move out. Suddenly tank. Okay, required militia courses through high school, Magecon. Okay. But tank driving? Like, roughly the same time you're getting your driver's license for a car? Like, oh, just drive the tank, too. It's fine. It's fine.
Here's the brief for this operation. Enemy squad centered around a tank. Defend the gate. Kill the tank. Okay. All right, let's begin. We've got to stop them here. If this gate falls, there's going to be even more casualties among the townspeople. About two hours till XCOM, Boomer. The town watch will defend this gate so as many people as possible can get away. A second? Listen close and I'll explain. Hangar to destroy the sandbags. Each player phase units will recover one hand grenade? Brilliant! Oh, you can see sightlines and stuff. Okay. Can you shoot that guy from a million miles away? 22 shots to kill? Alright, we're too far away. Probably too far away from that guy, too. Ow! Okay! Do not rush the tank. That's, uh... Strong work. Hey, unmove! I wish I had saved the game. That would have been smart. Town Watchman has... Retreated. Retreated. I guess we just wait? Um, I, I suppose waiting in the cover. My turn, okay? Hey, I hit him! You can save up unused CP. Ah. Let's do that. Oh, shoot it in the glowy bit.
guy's just going for a jog. Uh oh. Man, it'd probably be better if I still had three soldiers and hadn't just gotten one killed by a tank. Get him! Shoot him again! No! If this keeps up. Small amount of damage is healed at the start of each player phase. Units have suffered heavy damage and needs help to arrive faster. They need Ragnade. Whoa, no. Not that. Can you throw your grenade that far? Holy cow, Alicia. Whoa. No more. I can't. All right, we get to start over. And not lose our guy. So, the tank's going to roll up and ruin everyone's day. We could try and send someone around the back of the building, mostly as a distraction and they'll die. Or we could line all three people up in the cover and try and kill those scouts as they run forward. There's like no safe place to go as the tank approaches though. Maybe we do want to run all the way around the edge. Like up here. Oh, there's way too many guys. Go back. This town watchman. He's a champ. No, not a shot, the wagon wheel in the way. Nine. Four. You got so close, man. Go around the tree. There you go.
Can you climb that? Is that a thing? Space bar to climb. And finally... Blow up lots of sandbags so we can shoot them as they run by. Okay. Good luck. So sneak out and kill a guy worked pretty well. I wish we had gotten a better kill on the other guy. Hi, Zigzag. It's a good thing they're focused on the gate. Because they could just kill all of my guys if they were smart. Oh, yeah! Done. Good shooting, Alicia. Murdering the guys defending the gate is necessary if you don't want your scouts to get shot to pieces. Do you have another grenade? You do. Oh, no! I am bad at grenades! No, stay down. Stay down. There we go. Eighteen shots to kill that guy. Shiny heal potion. Thank you. All right, we're going to save that last command point. Hopefully we can uh, kill that guy if he tries to run. Main gate not doing so hot. No. Oh yes, he decided to move. Kill him.
Welcome has arrived. Entering combat. The tank should be able to breach that wall. It may provide us with a shortcut, Welks. All right, let's give it a shot. Hang in there, Alicia. Do I have to shoot the wall to breach it? Tanks possess firepower and endurance, far beyond that of foot soldiers. Hide ground units behind the tank. Do not recover HP. Consume 2 CP. Tanks require AP to turn. Okay. Now, do I need to shoot through that wall or can I just run it over? Nice. Whoa. Go tank. Oh, it's a tank. It's a galleon tank. Alicia, I'm sorry we're late. Welkin, you have a tank? Mm-hmm. It was in the garage. We can talk later. Right now, we need to stop those soldiers. Enemy tanks sighted, Welks. Switching to anti-tank combat. Armor-piercing shells loaded. Alright, let's go take it down. Uh... Alright, tank is... Probably just go straight ahead. Explosive mortar rounds mounted machine gun armor shells are getting against tanks. Explosive mortars kill ground units. Machine gun shoots guys that are too close. Boop! Tanks have two HP totals. Halting a tank before taking it out of your laser might be a strategy that's both safe and sensible. Okay. There's no kill like overkill. Alright, we're out of AP, so let's... Command the tank again. Entering combat. Hello. Fire. I missed. Oh my gosh. Don't shoot him in the Don't shoot him in that spot. You will miss and die. Okay. Fair enough. That was... that was bad. I was hoping to kill him in two shots instead of one shot. Or three shots, but, uh, nope. Get right up in there. Right up in there. I know, Magecron. I just took a dumb risk. Hi, Sarah. Okay. Uh, tank. Good work. Proud of you. Hi, other tank. Damage minimal. That guy needs to get shot. Oh, we don't even get to shoot at him? If I was doing that, they would shoot at me.
Entering combat. Can we get, like... Here's what I would like to do. I would like to line up right with his... Rumpus. Oh, I can't aim down far enough. Okay. Fire! Just shoot him. Hey, Edelweiss killed their tank. Yes, we stopped it. Nice work, Ys. Woohoo! Now you're my hero, Welkin. Yes, out of the friend zone. The Imperials are running off for now. Looks like we bought some time at least. Good morning, Heroic Logic. <laughs> Have fun at work. Yeah, this realistic war simulation. Super important. Especially super realistic Welks. uniforms. Welks. <laughs> that boy was born in a tank that was like taking fire and in combat. It's quite a boy. She gave birth in Dad's tank. Yes, and without complications, they're both perfectly healthy. Good. That's fantastic. Now let's stay sharp as we head out of town. I don't know what DCTs are, but we got some. Tanks ruined now. <laughs> from the from the baby being born inside it? Does that ruin a tank? Two hours after the first shots were fired. Brule was under Imperial control. We killed their tank, though. Though a mere skirmish by Empire standards, the raid on Brule would mark Welkin Gunther's first taste of battle and begin his rise to a Galleon hero. Spoilers! I like that the tank has a shawl. I think that's important. Alicia. I thought I would be ready for this. I knew war meant this might happen. It hurts. Seeing my town overrun like this, seeing all those people killed, it's just not right. How could all this happen? It isn't human, Welkin. We look at those birds and see how wild and free they are. But they all have their own territories. If anything threatens their home, they'll risk their lives to defend it. People are animals too. We do what we have to, when we have to. Animals are in a constant struggle to stay alive. But I've also seen them help each other. Almost like they were cooperating in order to survive. Cooperating? That's why I'm so into studying natural science. That coexistence. I want to know how it works. If we could figure that out, mankind could put it to use for our own survival. That's why I want to be a teacher. So that I can pass that knowledge on to the children. I mean, even if we can't completely eliminate war, at least we might learn to live together as one people. You think so? Welks, look. Thirty percent biologist, seventy percent idealist. See, Alicia. Oh, he's adorable. Just like you said. That is a giant new newborn. New life happens all around us. Come here. Look. Baby's like six That's months old. Hometown. Someday. We'll come back home again. Yes. Someday soon. 
I know it. Perfect teacher. 30% biologist, 70% idealist. You'd have to be a bit of an idealist to want to be a That's teacher, I guess. Urban warfare. Did she say vassal urban warfare? Oh, not vassal like nation under you that gives you taxes, but vassal like the name of a town. Okay, good. Okay, good. In March of 1935, the Empire began its invasion across Gallia's eastern border. Maximilian, commander of the Gallian invasion front, built his army around mobile armor. Girlendio and the other fortresses along the border fell to his tanks in quick succession. Bruel's fall in under two hours was typical of villages in the Empire's path, and the road to the capital bore a steady flow of refugees. Randgris, Gallia's capital, a town secure and stable since ancient times. Within its walls stood the castle Randgris, and within its unicorn spire resided Cordelia, Gallia's princess. Supporting Gallia's policy of neutrality was a system of universal conscription. Which is why we teach you to drive tanks in high school. Under it, all schools required military training each year. In the event of a war, citizens were then drafted into the militia to defend their country. Bye bye boy, I don't know if they're intended to be modeled on the Nazis. They might be. The, the timing of the setting worse. is right. Both Welkin and um, Alicia found themselves no exception. But there's there's two superpowers in this setting. There's the the big Western superpower and the big Eastern superpower. And the Western one are the good guys and the Eastern one are the bad guys, and the bad guys are storming us. Um so you know, like location wise on the map so it seems teams. a little bit USSR. Um But by the way they behave and they're like sort of racist, they seem a little bit Nazi. Kind of just generally bad guy empire is the the sort of thing. Oh, my uniform. I should get changed before reporting in. Better get ready now. Flares, binoculars, a compass, and a map. And I'm ready to sell hot dogs with my hat. Everything you need for a nice hike. Or combat. Welcome? Can I come in? Sure, it's open. Oh, you're already changed too. Let's see. Not bad, not bad. You look good, actually. So, how about me? Do I look all right in this? Convincing? Her new uniform is better than her old Let's one. Let's take a look. <laughs> yeah, you look fine. You wear it like a pro. Really? You're not just saying that? Of course not. You look tough. I like it. Oh, good. I was worried it looked kind of silly. <laughs> At least they own it. <laughs> no way. That plating on the back? It's like a coleopterid exoskeleton. Beetle-tastic. Coleo what? And did you just say beetle? Uh, Welkin? What kind of girl wants to hear that she looks like a bug? Look, I'm a biologist, not a flirt. Huh? Not just any bug, a rhinoceros beetle. <laughs> it's an awesome bug. Who wouldn't want that? <laughs> uh, Welcome, such a nerd. I guess I'll just try to take that as a very welcome sort of compliment. <laughs> Tell me about that scarf. You've been wearing it since I met you. 
Oh, this? It's part of my uniform from the bakery. Is that right? I don't want to forget the time I spent busting my buns baking. Hey <laughs> I plan to keep wearing it until I can get back to manning the ovens again. That's great. Once you do, I'll be first in line to get some of that bread. Is that a promise? Well, I'll be sure to have plenty of it ready and waiting for you. Absolutely. Hey, if you're ready, we should probably go see the captain now. Nico, did you bring lots of grenades? Because that mission has a lot of destructible cover. And if you just dig in where you start and blow up all the cover you can reach with grenades, uh, I find that makes it a lot easier. He does want her buns wise. That is right. Excuse me, ma'am. Galleon Militia Enlistee, Welkin Gunther, reporting for duty. Ma'am, Galleon Militia Enlistee, Alicia Melkiot, also reporting for duty. I'm Captain Eleanor Varat, commander of this regiment. Gunther, you're promoted to lieutenant. You'll be leader of Squad 7 now. Ma'am. Enlistee Melkiot, you're promoted to sergeant. You'll be under the lieutenant's command. What? Understood? Ma'am. All right, congratulations, Welkin. It is you. Nice coincidence, huh, Welkin? Valdio? I had no idea that you'd enlisted. Yeah. Now that there's a real war going on, I joined up. Pretty much all the officer and training boys are here just like you. You know each other? Yes, ma'am. We knew each other at university. Welkin was in science and I was in archaeology. And just look at us now. No archaeology or science. Looks like the two of us are studying more, I guess. Looks that way. It's good to see you. And you. That'll be all for now. There's a strategy briefing later today. But you still have time. Time for you to catch up. You'll be spending a lot of time on the post and in Randgris. They'll be your new home. So get to know them. That'll be all. Report back in time for the briefing. Until then, you're dismissed. Change equipment, or view info on the members of Squad 7, choose members of Squad 7, Tra train units to improve combat ability, upgrade equipment. Okay. Or book mode. So we have one each of four classes here. Um, I don't see a way. Okay. Paved roads feel strange and cold, leading to discomfort and lowered defense. He revives after his HP hits zero. That's nice. Um, gets a boost if he's surrounded by allies. Cool. He likes a bunch of people we haven't met yet. Steady drain of HP while in sandy areas. Can't abandon her 
shock troopers. If they are nearby, her abilities are enhanced. Um, hey, lessen damage from interception fire seems good. All right, Rosie's all right. I have no idea of the XCOM. Wait, why do you have three pages of stuff? He likes to be surrounded by foes. Okay. It's good to see you doing the rounds. Welcome. This is the command room. Use it to structure your squad. You will have access to both drafted and volunteer recruits. Now that I think of it, Squad 7 is still short on soldiers, isn't it? I'll explain how this works. This is the master list. The recruits have all been assigned classes based on their talents. I should probably touch on the five classes, just so we're clear. First off, you have the scouts. Just like the name suggests, they'll be your eyes. Okay, scouts look like binoculars. Their best asset is their mobility. They can go out, collect intel, then make it back safely. That, and a keen eye for enemies. A good scout can spot a man in tall grass from a hundred yards. That comes at the price of firepower. Their job is spotting enemies, not taking them out. Next up, the shock trooper. They're the ones to break through enemy lines and clean up. The scouts don't get baseball bats? Okay, fair enough. They offer excellent offense and defense. As far as combat goes, they're as good as it gets. While they lack any specialized techniques, they also don't have any obvious shortcomings. Think of them as the least finicky unit in your squad, Lieutenant. Okay. After them, we have Lancers. This weapon's so awesome. Anti-tank units. They're critical when facing armored targets. I mean, just the fact that it looks like a lance, like you're riding a joust. Their purpose is pretty self explanatory But then launches a rocket? In most so cases, great. They're the only way to stop a tank. They're also well shielded from explosives, which conveniently includes tank mortars. You gotta have giant shoulder pads. Sadly, they're slow and weak to gunfire. Their limited ammo could also be called a drawback. Changing gears, we have the engineers. They handle supplies and perform combat support. They can restock other units' ammunitions, treat the wounded, even repair tanks on site. They can place sandbags for cover, disarm mines, repair towers, you name it. Their actual combat skills are very low. Think of them as combat facilitators. If this is like... Uh, engineers might prove to be my favorite. I usually like the support sort of facilitator classes. Lastly, we so have the cool. snipers. They can shoot down targets from a considerable distance. You won't find better soldiers for marksmanship and range. They can hit targets I can barely see. Sniping rifles also come with scopes that work to augment a sniper's natural eyesight. Drawbacks include low mobility and defense. If the enemy gets them alone, they're done for. That should cover the basics. Go ahead and put a squad together now. There's room for 20, and you can swap units at any time. There's room for 20? Oh no. Oh no.
I'm going to spend forever looking through this. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. All right, well, let's... Marina Wolfstead at your command. Hi, Marina. Marina's the only sniper I'll ever need, but what about Oscar? Hey, I'm Oscar Baylor. Thanks for taking me on board. Fancy's women. Man hater. Pollen allergy. City kid. Should I just be picking on that picking them by like what they look like? Are right, we gonna take the metal head? My name's Carl Lanzett, sir. It's a pleasure to join you. We're gonna take The man hater, the fancies women, because those two together are funny. My name is Dallas Wyatt. I'm excited to be joining up. Pick based on friendships. Oh my gosh, I don't want to keep track of all of that. We can pick Claudia because I like her haircut. That's how we're making decisions. My best to live up to your expectations. Pick based on friendship so they can cry when their friends die. Thanks, Tully. That's great. Um, Pompadour, you're in. Hey, Field Boar here. Remember the name, boss man. Intense eyes in. The name's Nina Strice, and I look forward to a good workout out there. Nils doesn't like anyone. He has no friends. Hector. My name's Hector Calvi, sir. I'm at your service from today on. Oh, Micah and Dorothy are friends. Let's not split them up. Hello. I'm Mika Hawkins. I'll be serving under you from here on. Uh, hello there. I'm Dorothy. I'll, uh, I'll do my best. <laughs> you do not inspire me with confidence, Dorothy. It's all right. It's all right. Um... Let's get Yoko and Kobe. Hi there, I'm Yoko Martins. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Do they like each other because they're both old? Is that... He has bad back. Kobe cared, boyo. Looks to me like 
We're gonna see a lot of each other. That's great. All right, what? Do we, maybe I should be looking at my squad a little. So we have three engineers, two snipers, four lancers, five shock troopers, and one scout. I need some scouts. Wavy, I like the cut of your jib. Please, call me Wavy. From today onward, we fight together. more I have three open slots three okay so we need two more scouts and one more shock troop Frisia. I'm Frisia York Handsome. I know you'll take real good care of me. Uh oh. Handsome. Um What is what is bad back? Bending over to crouch drops their defense. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. Hey, she likes Welkin. Let's get her. You know Corin, reporting for duty. Looks like I'll be joining you in Squad Seven. Welcome, Juno. And last but not least, Do we have Jan on board? No, I don't think there was a Jan. Yeah, there's, there is no Jan. VX come. Do I like Kevin? Or Hannes? Yeah, let's get. Haynes Challenger, reporting Haynes. for duty, sir. All right, Haynes of the gruff voice. And we're full. So let's call it a day. We have five scouts. We have. Six shock troopers, four lancers, three engineers, and two snipers. I feel like that's pretty well 
balanced. I don't actually know the game well enough to know if that's actually balanced. Well, feel like you've struck a balance? Yes. Come back anytime you'd like to adjust your squad. Thanks, Captain. As time passes, we'll have more recruits to choose from, so keep an eye on that list. Oh, and all the recruits go through training together, so they're all ready for combat. They'll be at the same level as the rest of the team you've taken into the field. Oh, it's so great. Like, of all the things that you need to pay attention to, not having to pay attention to XP on different units, thank goodness. You can swap out members without the worry of losing the benefit of their experience. Trust in your own judgment and pick a team you know you can work well with. That should be enough to get you started. You can figure out the rest as you go. Wow. Squad leader's a lot of responsibility. Great. Great. Oh, I'm so glad that I'm so confident and ready for this.